Hey, VC, Sean from Buzz Bomb Records, coming at you again from the bunker uh, for my uh, special holiday edition of What's in the Box. And this is going to be uh, dedicated to Space Ace, and more specifically, his uh, Origins Volume 2 release from a couple months back. And really what this is, is uh, a way to make me finally go through the stack of all of the variants that have been sitting out there for a while now. Um, again, as, as I say so many times, I get busy with stuff and I continue to, to get new records in and then I stage them out there in the other room uh, to, to, to catalog into discogs, you know, and buy and put away and all that good stuff. And so these, uh, these ones in particular, along with all the record store days, record store day stuff, um, you know, from, uh, you know, it's over the last few drops. Um, I've been out there for uh, a while. Um, and again, this is a way to make me kind of finally go through my ACE stuff. And uh, it's, it's kind of because, um, you know, uh, some of the other guys I follow, the Kiss My Wax and the groups on Facebook have been posting these. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I ordered pretty much everything I thought that was out there. And a couple of things these guys got are different than what I have. And so part of this is kind of to throw a couple of these things in particular up there to see if anybody else has any other comments on when, where they got theirs. Do they have the same that I do? Did they get something different? Because there are a couple questions on, on these, a couple specific uh, releases that I have here that, that I had to go back through my, my, all my um, emails to try to figure out where, um, where one of these came from because I, I, uh, the description isn't, isn't right. Um, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, we will discuss all of this in great detail moving forward. But I did want to show a couple things from, before I get to those, from Record Store Day, um, this year. So, this was, uh, I think from the first drop. I think it was the first drop, um, a Record Store Day drop. Uh, re-release of Trouble Walkin'. Uh, so this was Ace's second solo record. He did uh, Fraley's Comet first, uh, and then did this one. Not my favorite Ace record. Um, don't really listen to it all that much, but cool to have. Because um, I'll tell you, the original, my original version, I've had for however, whenever this came out, 88, 89, I don't even remember. But um, pretty thrashed. Um, don't listen to it again all that much, but cool to have. And an awesome release, as always from Ace and you know they just know how to package stuff right and I'm gonna say this too I mean I love Kiss and all um, as you guys know this is what the vinyl looked like on the uh, Trouble Walking but um, uh, as with the Origins stuff and even you know the other his, his record from last year Ace is still putting out a lot of cool material uh, Kiss not so much um, a lot of reissues but nothing new really um, now that I'm saying here's a reissue but it's not new <laughs> anyway in comparison to Ace that's what the back side of that guy looked like cool really heavy stock so cool release trouble walking and then on the last record store day drop we got space trucking um, picture disc um, I don't really buy picture discs to play um, I might have a couple that I do, but most most part I don't. I just buy them to kind of have. Um, so I would put this in that category. Space Truck is also not my favorite tune off of Origins, which is where this is from. Uh, but nonetheless, very cool disc to have. Um, the video is kind of, kind of just a depiction of the cartoon on here. But um, anyway, cool release. That was a Record Store Day deal. And I think both of those got swooped up pretty quick. And then I got another one last summer. Another reissue as I'm talking about all the new stuff Ace does. More reissues. This was a reissue of Origins Volume 1. Also in a picture disc. Uh, this came out or was reissued I think last July. It was last summer sometime. So anyway. So of course I got to get it. And then of course I have to get the one that had the autographed insert and that's what this this looked like 
So I ordered the one with the autograph. Like I need another Ace autograph? No. But I have 298 of, what does that say, 500? With this one? So, anyway, cool to have. That came out last summer. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the Origins. So, if you're not familiar with uh, Origins, um, this is Volume 2. He did Volume 1, it's probably four years ago, maybe. Maybe longer, I don't remember, but it's basically Ace doing cover tunes. Um, he brings in other musicians to, to come in and and and, uh, and record with, and they're actually really cool records. Um, they're actually some of my favorite Ace records to listen to, believe it or not. Um, so I do like them, I think they're cool. Uh, volume 1 had a bunch of different variants, certainly not as many as this one, but there were a few, you know, so um, so of course I, I've got those. And then, so when these started to show up, uh, I think it was back announced in July, maybe. I have to go back and look, but anyway, um, the releases have just, I mean, it's been fast and furious, man. And, but, and there's been a lot of them. And so, you know, as these things would come up or you'd see, or I'd see a tweet from Ace or something, I'd immediately like, go in and order it. And then I'd forget what I've ordered. You know, I tried tracking it in my emails, um, but there were just, there's so many. And a lot of guys have been posting these to try to figure out, okay, how many variants are there really? Um, because like I said earlier, there's some things, guys are getting different, different, different stuff than, than others. And so anyway, I'm going to go through this and hopefully people can kind of chime in. So, um, bear with me as I read my notes because I had to, there's so many of these. So this was the first one I got. So back in July, uh, this one was announced on the E1 website, which is Ace's Labels site. It's got gold writing, it's got a red Les Paul, and then the hype. I'll just you know, hopefully you can see this. And then the hype says gold vinyl. So this was the first one. This is the first one that I ordered, the first one that I saw out there from E1's website. And the vinyl, like this. So I've got a little rig here, guys. I'm going to show you um, the way I'm going to do this. And my little flashlight. So you can kind of see. Hopefully this will be the best way to show these. But anyway, so... I think they marketed this as gold translucent. So it's mostly gold. You can see a little bit of a swirl in there, but gold. So that was the first one. Did I order it first? I don't remember if that's the first one. Probably the first one I got was that one too. Um, so that's the gold. Again from E1. And then like a very short time thereafter, we got another listing. This one was also on the E1 website gold lettering red guitar the so same cover but the hype on this guy says oops black and gold vinyl again shortly after the other one we saw this one and that vinyl looked like this. So it's definitely black and gold. Kind of swirly. It's cool looking. Again, still kind of translucent. So I'm, I'm wondering, my gut kind of tells me is that they were probably all supposed to look like this. And that maybe some came out and were just gold. Or I don't know, maybe they did this on purpose, but it kind of looks similar. But it's officially different. It's a different variant. So that was the second one I got. So we've got black and gold. Then I got the announcement from the European site. They're like, hey, there's another one there. So this one was announced. So E1 Europe. Which I think is technically in Germany, I think, is where they're based. Anyway, white lettering, 
red guitar. So that's the first variant you see there. And then the vinyl, and I apologize because the way it's <laughs> inside the bag, the hype is. This one says Grape Galaxy covered vinyl. Colored, not covered. Grape Galaxy colored vinyl. So out of E1 Europe, you got this. So this one, out of all of them, I think, well, actually, there's another one that's really cool. This one's pretty cool. So as you see, it is kind of grapey. It's grapey. Got some black in there. But so really cool looking, though. So that was the Grape Galaxy out of E1 Europe. Then, and I don't know why this was, but maybe the timelines are way more compressed than I remember but there had to be a standard version right with all these variants this was the standard one you could get off the E1 website so again I have here that I got this in August but yeah, I probably ordered them all around the same time so white lettering red guitar the same jacket as that other one. Hype on this one though says just two colored vinyl. Doesn't say what color, just says two colored vinyl. And on the website, when I ordered these, it was it, it I think it listed this as like a cobalt blue swirl or something. I can't remember what, exactly what it said, but um, the vinyl looked like this. At least mine. This is where it's going to get a little weird, dude, guys. Mine looked like this. So that's a very bright blue. Not a ton of swirl in there, but a little bit. Um, and the first posting I saw this on Discogs it was similar to this. This is, again, that's going to mean something here in a minute. So this was a standard release, so if you ordered it here in the U.S. or if you got it from the record store or whatever, this is what you would have got. So standard blue, let's call that blue, they call it cobalt, whatever. That one. This next one was also I ordered around the same time. And unfortunately I could not find the shipper on this. So as with all the other ones, when I do this, I try to save like the pack slip so I at least remember kind of what I paid for them and just again to kind of keep track. This one here, I, I have this listed here that I got this in August, uh, right around the same time, I guess, is the standard uh, version. Ordered it. I think I, I might have got this from Europe. And this is where I'm going to ask for some people to chime in if you can. Because this is one of the ones that's the same jacket as the standard version. So the white lettering with the red guitar. If you look at the hype, it's the exact same hype. It says two colored vinyl. It doesn't say what color, it just says two colored vinyl. However, if you look at, again, the website description was different. Which is why, again, I think I got this from E1. Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was here. But it's a different description on the order. It's called Color on or a Color in Color. And it looks like this. So, I don't even be able to see this, guys. It's, this one doesn't... Sh it's not really translucent. So maybe if I do this, you can kind of tell. It's like a... Um, it's almost like a turquoise blue. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. It's like a turquoise blue. So, same jacket. Same, and don't yell at me for holding the vinyl this way because I have to to show you. Same jacket, same barcode as this. These are not the same. Okay. However, if you go into Discogs, some knucklehead has merged the release because I actually had these in there twice. So these are both listed as standard. Again, same barcode, same 
product code, same everything, but these are clearly two different releases. They are not listed, however, as two different releases in Discogs. So, I need some help on this one, guys. If you have this one, or even the other one, and again, you ordered them same kind of time frame, please chime in so we can clear this up as to what the differences are on those. Um, okay, that's enough on that one. So how, how many is that so far? Five? I think it's five so far. Uh, this guy here, and then this was... When did I order this? This, I think, was September. Maybe, maybe it was after that. So this one, get different. It's the first time you see a different uh, jacket. So this one has blue letters. I shouldn't say the same time you see, or first time you see a different jacket. First time since the gold lettering. So now we have blue letters. First time you see a different color guitar, however, that's a black. So the Les Paul on here is black. And then the hype says, oops, silver and black colored vinyl. So this one, guys, this was the Target exclusive. And what was misleading about this one is that if you ordered this or you saw it on the website, it showed the, I guess, let's call it the standard Target hype sticker, the one they put on all their exclusives. Um, so it showed that on the website. Everybody ordered, or at least the people like me ordered it online because we couldn't go to the store. Um, thought that's what you'd get. And, and then these showed up. And everybody's like, well, that's not Target exclusive. Well, actually it is. I've never, to this day, still never seen one with the Target hype. If you have one, please show it. Um, or please chime in. But I haven't yet to see one. I've yet to see one of these actually physically in the store as well. So... I don't know if they sold out online. They probably did. But um, this was the Target one. Target exclusive. And the vinyl on that guy. So it said black and... It's a black. Black white. So this is what that one looked like. So cool. More like a smoke kind of color. So that was the Target one. And also, real quick, um, the CD, also, if you saw it on the website, had the Target Hype, um, ones I got did not. So, had the same hype. So, I've never seen one with the Target Hype sticker on it. Again, if you got one, either CD or the vinyl, please. And then, so that was the Target one. This is, again, where this gets kind of interesting. So then, this one was not that long ago. Another one from E1 Europe. Oops. Another one from E1 Europe. And again, back to the white lettering. Red guitar, so same, same jacket. This one, the hype says. Silver and black. The website, however, says silver. I think when I ordered it, it said silver. Like everybody expected silver. And another one on this, so the hype that I got, again, it's different. It says silver and black. There are other folks um, in the groups that have said they got, ordered this particular release, got the silver and black, but the hype sticker down here was the one from the grape. So it was the other hype from the, the other European release. I did not get that one. I got this one. So the listing in Discogs is incorrect. It says everybody got the wrong hype. They did not. I did not get the wrong hype. I got, maybe it was the wrong hype, but it wasn't the grape one. It was this one. And again, the, the barcodes match up to what is on the Discogs release. And that vinyl looked like this, which again, Man, this looks like the Target one, wouldn't you say? So, not as translucent, however, I will say. So this one's more solid, but it's definitely silver. It's definitely black, and it is different. But so this is this is one I got. So again, chime in, guys, if you got something different. And then, last but not least, 
the coolest one of all um about a month ago maybe it wasn't even that long ago they put this one up and of course i had to get the one with the autograph so this was the holiday release holiday version um this one's not that old it's, it's only been up there for I think, a couple weeks maybe it's been up there a month but not that long uh, i'm pretty sure you can still get this I'm pretty sure you can still get most of these i think maybe the early the gold and the blacks are gone but you can get the other ones still um if you're a freak and want to get them all like me uh this one <laughs> or, or uh, red and green hype on there as you can kind of see red and green vinyl I'll show you here in a minute but again there were a couple different versions you could get it uh, just by itself and actually I think I think I'd heard that if you order it even without the autograph over here and the autographed um, Christmas card I think they all came with a Christmas card whether you paid the extra or you actually got the autograph and again I don't need more ace autographs but it's still kind of cool so of course that's the one I'm gonna get so anyway Christmas version so jacket actually I didn't even look at this maybe that's a maybe that's silver lettering I can't tell and I kept the the lights really low on this one so I could show the flashlight through the vinyl that's the other reason it's so dark in here but um uh anyway that might be silver now that I look at it the lettering might be silver anyway ram 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 and then this is what the vinyl looked like on that guy. Was this green? That looks orange. <laughs> it's not orange, guys. It's like that's red. It looks orange on my screen. That's terrible. But green and green and red. So was a cool release. Again, I don't need all of these, but as you know, I am an ace guy, so I gotta. I gotta grab what I can when I see it. So that's what I have, man. So how many is that? That's I think that's eight. Again, I've heard there's nine, or some that I don't know why that number strikes me, but I I heard um, I think somebody said there's nine, and I actually went before I uh, started this to look on Discogs to see, and there's there is another one up there posted that says it's sky blue, um, and it does say sky blue on the hype. I don't have that one. That's the only one I don't have that I that, that's that's probably out there. I don't remember seeing that one, so I don't know where that one was from. Um, but again, I've got one here that's not, in my opinion, it's not on Discogs either. So um, again, hoping some other guys can help me clarify those two blue variants. One I'll call it turquoise. The one that again they called it color on color in the uh, on the order form. Um, the other one's clearly, a, they called it cobalt and white swirl. So, um, we'll see. We'll see if anybody else chimes in on that stuff. If not, no, nah, no big deal. I still need to have these. Um, and, um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to do for today. So, uh, hopefully this was of some interest and hopefully this starts some dialogue and we can clarify exactly how many of these things are out there. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching as always.